Oh. So it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. And it's, uh... Alrighty, alrighty. So I'm walking bike helmet. So I was going to ride to work, but then I said, you know, let me drop off the bike because I got this problem and I don't know how to fix it. I tried to fix it. Didn't work. Um, problem with the brakes. Uh, so I just took it in. But, you know, I used to have this fear that, oh, I don't know how to take care of a bike and I don't know how to, I don't know how to you know, do this with riding and I don't know how to maintain the bike. Well, you just learn. You learn from doing. And that's life. You learn from doing. So get out there and do whatever you want to do, and you'll stumble along the way. You know, a, a baby doesn't learn how to walk by, you know, thinking about it. A baby learns how to walk by walking, and then falling, and then stepping up, and then walking and falling again. So babies know how to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it ourselves, because we're babies as well. So that's all I got to say. We'll see you in a bit. So, mangoes around 500 calories. So just leaving work, I always bring, this is what I ate sort of while working. Um, you know, it's always good to bring food with you. Uh, even if you don't think you're going to need it. I didn't think I was going to need this. But, you know, I ended up staying later than I was going to. Got hungry, brought it out. Because I don't like feeling hungry. I don't know about you, but I don't like feeling hungry, so... I never feel hungry. Um, I always try to have a full tank before I go to work, school, whatever, hanging out with friends. I always fill up the tank, so I always eat before I go, and I always bring food with me if I can. Um, I always bring food on the plane, but that's another video. So, walking back, we'll see what is next in the store. Yeah. So walking in the woods here, <clears throat> thinking that People make the stupidest excuses for the easiest things to fix. So people are like, oh yeah, but I can't, you know, I can't exercise as much as you, even though I don't do much exercise at all. You can walk, can't you? And if you, can, if you can't walk, you can use your wheelchair, you know, get some cardio, get some, work your upper body. You can't walk to the to end of the street, to the, walk at some place like this where it's just beautiful. Walk around your block, walk around your neighborhood. So people just make these excuses, excuses, because if this was something that you wanted, if health was something that you wanted, if fitness was something that you actually wanted, you would do it in a heartbeat. Because there's so many people doing it without drugs, without animal products. Not that animal products do anything, except make it sicker and feel worse. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy. It's easy to do it. Just get out and do it. Just try. Like I did with fixing my bike. I tried, couldn't do it, so I took it into the mechanic. He'll let me know what I did wrong, and that's it. You learn from your mistakes. So go for a walk. Have a freaking banana. People always say, oh yeah, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't eat that many potatoes. You can, but you won't because you don't want to. Don't say that you can't. I can't eat animal products. Well, I probably physically can't because it would make me sick at this point. Um, but I choose not to. And I choose to eat foods that are going to benefit me, that I feel good, that benefit the planet. So, it's easily done if you want to make it easily done. If you want to cry about your problems and just keep complaining and using that energy to complain and complain and complain and not get anywhere, and you say, oh, I don't have any energy to go vegan. What? You just complain for... So, that's a bit of a rant, I guess. Um, so I'm going to keep walking. Um, turn this phone off. Enjoy the nature. So, yeah. So I'll hopefully be giving a TED Talk at my university or alma mater, where I used to go to university, in November. But I'm still wrestling on what to do it on. I'm still wrestling on who or what to sort of make the focus. Um, because I don't know exactly what I don't know. I don't know what people want to see. I don't know what might be too extreme. What might get me kicked out. So, 
If you guys have any thoughts or ideas, let me know. Because I think I'm just going to end up talking about my journey. Um, talking about my experiences so far in getting healthy, overcoming, you know, things that I overcame. So let me know in the comments what you guys think because it's all up in the air as right now. So like I said yesterday, it's so easy when you think about it. You know, go to your grocery store, go to your university, go to a church, go to, just walk down your city block, your street. And look at the people around you. Look at the people. And are, are, if they're leading the life that you want, then follow what they did. Follow, if you want the life that your parents lead, follow that life. It's easy. If you don't want that, then you know you don't want that, so look another way. People want to complicate it easier. Uh, co people want to complicate it and make it harder than it is. The truth is, is that look at people getting the results that you want and look what they did and do what they did. Follow your heart. It's easier said than done, but I can talk from experience because this is what I did. I looked at people around me, people in my life, and I said, do I want to be that way? Do I want that life? If so, give me more information. If not, thank you. I'll see you later. It's not a hate thing, it's just it's the same thing, it's what I say all the time. If you want to be an eagle, if you want to soar like an eagle high above the clouds, why would you hang around with turkeys? Not to say the turkeys are bad, of course they're not bad, but they're turkeys. And if you want to soar like an eagle, soar like an eagle. So that's all I got to say about that. So just got back from walking, we're going to have some cereal. It's about half a box of this, organic bran flakes, easy. Put some sugar in there, how much sugar, probably about a quarter cup, it'll end up being. Get some rice milk, some water, easy. So I decided to read this book, finally, Low Carb Pride by Dr. T. Colin Campbell. We'll see how it is. So do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. What does that mean? So I'll give you an example. My family wanted to go take my brother out to dinner to a sort of pub-like place. And I didn't want to go for obvious reasons. Well, maybe not so obvious. I don't want to support that sort of food. I don't want to... It's just... I just don't want to do it. Oh, but you're not, you know, a family person. You're, you know, you don't, you know... It has nothing to do with that. It's just I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Life is too short to try and please other people. Life is too short to... I already did that video anyway. But life's too short. It's too short to lead to live other, other people's expectations of you. It's, 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 you got to do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. It's as easy as that. Don't worry about trying to please other people. That's a lame way to live life anyway. So, anyway, so about to put on some rice, have a big rice dish, or potatoes, whatever I'm feeling, and we'll see you for dinner. And there it is. There it is. Some people don't want to eat this way. They don't want to eat this way. They don't want to... I don't know why. I don't, I, I don't know why. Because you eat this way, you're going to have this much energy... Caffeine free. You're going to be able to eat as much as you want. Who the hell doesn't want to do that? And look amazing. Really. I, it boggles my mind why people are avoiding this. Why people are avoiding abundance. Clarity. Without the bullshit. Without taking supplements. Without buying into the protein. This crazy 
town Wambi Zongo. You don't have to do this. You can change your life with rice. You can change your life with fruits and vegetables. Can you dig it? I mean, seriously. It it drives me crazy. I mean, that. why do you think I'm so crazy about this? Huh? Why do you think I'm so nuts? Doing this, I, I've been on YouTube for two years, three years. I don't even know anymore. Doing the same shit. I've, I've had literally the same exact message since day one. Why is that? Why do I do this every single day? Why do I film myself like a psycho, vain, egotistical maniac in public, in private? I'm literally talking to myself right now. <laughs> why do I do this? I've had... Why? It must, it's got to be clear that people like me, people like myself, other people doing this similar thing... Well, obviously, it's not for the money. Because if it was for the money, doing all this these, these this amount of work for the money, I'd be doing something else. It's it's to help people like you change their lives. This literally is life changing. It's changed my life for the better. So please, please, please take the advice that I'm giving you, that we're giving you, that the health, fitness, vegan community is giving you. Eat, please eat. Eat good foods like this. Rice, potatoes, a little bit of condiment. You could do whatever you like. I like to do the simple, cheap route. <laughs> this is easy. But you could do more extravagant. But you just get in the, in the calories. You got to get in the calories. The sleep, the water. <sighs> so I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate because I see people literally dying. I see people... <laughs> Going on these fad diets and doing, oh, thinking, oh. Anyway, I, this video can go on long forever. If you know me at this point, you know that this happens. These rants like this happen. But it comes out of passion. It comes out of love. If I didn't love what I did, do, am doing, I wouldn't be doing it. Like I said before, I don't want to go out to dinner and support that sort of industry. I would rather spend my time doing this, doing what I love. And if people don't understand that, then th those that mind do not matter and those that matter do not mind. Does it make sense? So anyway, so I'm going to finish this bowl of rice. I got potatoes cooking, steaming. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few. Okay, so let's do a speed round Q&A before I lose my cool. Um... So what if you can only afford enriched white rice? Am I screwed? Screwed? How are you screwed? That's awesome. Most, you know, the, the percentage of the people on the planet who live on rice, white and rich rice, whatever, is extremely high. So if that's what you can afford, you could, you could probably afford some fruits as well. So load up your, I mean, somebody answered, but exactly, exactly right. Just load up on fruits Vegetables, potatoes, the cheapest foods on the planet. You do what you can do. You do the best that you can do. If that's what you can, if put it this way, if I, you know, lost the living situation that I'm in now, if I lost the money that I have now, that's what I would live on, hands down. That's what I would live on. Cheapest thing on the planet. If that's all I could afford, I'd be totally fine with it. Um, so next question: What do you think of raisins? Raisins are fine. I don't really like them that much, um, but they're fine. Uh, um, probably a good um, like traveling snack or throw them in your jersey. Um, ooh, so when I bike, I usually bring around, um, put stuff, some dried mangoes in my pockets, my cycling jersey. It's fun. Um, <clears throat> plus I hand them to people because oh, I have never had this before. Never had a dried mango? Are you crazy? <coughs> Make me die. Uh, do you think it's bad to get under 5% protein or fat? No. What? No. No, 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 no. Uh, the World Health Organization... <clears throat> well, I forget when did they do this. Uh, I forget when this was. But they had a study... Um, no, the World Health Organization... I'm pretty sure it was in the 70s. Uh, it's an old statistic. I completely forget it. But... 
Um, this is raw. This is what you're seeing. Um, they stated that a healthy adult person, male, female, whatever, only needs 2.5% of their calories coming from protein. That's all you need. <laughs> so 5%, don't worry about it. Um, and they actually bumped it up to 5% a few years later, I think in the 90s, because they didn't want people to freak out. Just, you know, to so you get double what's actually recommended. So don't worry about it. Um, eat fruits and vegetables, and you won't even have to worry about anything. Any, oh, but what about my K vitamins? What about my B12? What about my, uh, well, come on. Plant foods. Plant foods. All right, anyway. Uh. I just, eating, I just started eating more right rice. My face started breaking out like crazy. I don't want to stop eating rice, uh, but it's so awesome. Um, I mean, you got to look at what else you're eating, what else you've been eating in the past, what else you're doing right now. Um, don't blame the rice. Um, the rice might be bringing out a symptom that is, other things are causing, and that's kind of what detox is. So detox, if you don't know, is um, when you stop eating all the crap that you're eating, your body sort of says, "Whoa, we can start to actually do work now. You stopped overloading us with all this crap. We could actually start doing our job. Let's do it. So then they start doing their job. Um, so you might get a fever, a headache, whatever. Last a couple of days. Um, it's the body doing its thing. So let the body do its thing. It's not the, it's not the rice that's the problem. Um, uh, you could try rinsing it. Uh, I mean, there might be a pesticide or something. But in general, it's, it, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I would, I would again look at the other things in your life. So, are you working around toxic chemical, te, chemicals? Chemicals? What is it? Huh? Anyway, uh, are you working around toxic chemicals, or I mean, what are you doing? Are you are you smoking? Are you eating other things? Have you just stopped? Like I said. Um, so I hope that does that answer. I don't even know. All right. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long because I know nobody watches it to the end. So trying to do it in a uh, efficient way. If this doesn't work, then whatever. Do you know someone who has built muscles successfully? <laughs> Mike Vlasity? Google him. Google him right now. Get rid of this video and Google him. Um, guy's incredible. Uh, he's a power lifter, not a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders are just trying to get as much mass, trying to get swole so they can not fit through doors anymore. Stupid. Power lifters just see how much they can lift and try and keep doing their best. Um, so look up Mike Vlasity. He will. Um, so my advice, uh, my my advice would just be to lift heavy weights if that's what you want to do. Eat enough carbs so you have the energy to to lift the heavy weights. Get enough rest so you have the energy to lift the weights. Get enough water so you can you see water, sleep, and carbohydrate calories. That's the trifecta. Don't we need to worry about protein when you're getting enough calories? No such thing as protein deficiency. Never ever been recorded ever. The only thing that are, that have been recorded are malnutrition not getting enough calories so get enough calories and you're golden you'll you'll be you'll be eons above other people in the gym high carb vegan whew. i i put it this way i cycle i've never cycled before really and i got my bike my road bike last march and i've only recently started getting to the group rides and people are like wait you've only been doing this for how long how are you keeping up with us older guys but they've been doing it for years it's not genetics. It's not freaking whatever. It's just plant foods. Whew, plant foods. Getting rid of the crap. All right, anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. Uh, can you do vlogs? I, I, that's what this is. Um, what kind of bike do you ride? Oh, yeah, maybe I'll show you. Um, I think it's a 2012 Trek Madone. It was $1,500. Um, I think the guy marked it down 1200 because it was last year's model. Um, great bike. Um, don't know much about bikes, but it's a great bike. Um, and I got it fit. I got it fit um, by a different guy who does retool. I think that's how you say it. Bike fits. That was expensive. That was 300 bucks, But it's been worth it so far. Anyway, uh, questions. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, what's your opinion on alternate day fasting? Oh, God. Don't fast. Why do you need to fast? Because you want a, you want a, a, a cure that, that'll... That little, little cure you for whatever you're doing for, from your bad habits. You want a quick fix? There ain't no quick fixes. There ain't no quick fixes. If you want a quick fix, go go somewhere else. Why are you on this channel? You're on this channel because you know the truth. The truth is that fruits, vegetables, sleep, water. That's all you need. 
fun, good relationships, get in the sun, move your body a little bit. That's all you need. But people want a quick fix. This will take years. It's called cultivating health. It's making an investment in yourself. It's not going to take a week and then you lose the weight and then it comes back on. Then you do this freaking cycle for years and years. You wonder what's efficient? Alternate day fasting is efficient. That'll frick up, flip up, flip up, jip up your metabolism. You want to do that? No, you don't want to do that. Check out this lifestyle. If you want more tips on this lifestyle, go to my main page. I got uh, playlists and it, you know, weight loss tips and how to do it, how to start. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, was I breastfed as an infant? Infant? Yes. Uh, are you still with the same girlfriend? Yes. Um, do you engage strangers in public about veganism? Yes. How do they typically react? Like I'm crazy. Like I'll be at the counter, uh, somebody will be picking up butter and I'll say, you know, the clogs your arteries or picking up olive oil saying it's healthy. That's why I don't work at Trader Joe's anymore because I was talking to the customers too, customers too much, trying to help them. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I quit. I didn't get fired for that. Um, but they wanted me to work, yeah, do, not do that. So anyway, that's, that's another video. Um, can you even say that? Yeah, fuck it. You can say that. Oh, I cursed. Anyway, um... Does anyone ever recognize you in public from the YouTube channel? Yes, and it's weird, um, but it's awesome. It's so cool. Um, and it's, I mean, please, if you ever see me, say hi. Um, one time I was on the bus in the university. Guy kept looking back at me. Um, and then he said, yeah, you know, I saw you. I was watching one of Durian Rider's videos, and then I saw one of your videos. I said, wait, you know what Durian Rider? You know me? So it's cool, and I ended up helping him, um, because he, he was new to the area, so saying, you know, I want to do this lifestyle, but I can't. So I told him what I did. Um, so, yeah, and then there was another case. Um, somebody in the city uh, I ran into. Um, but, yeah, it's cool. It's really it's, it's cool when that happens because you start to see the people that you're affecting, the people that you're helping. And that's, it's, that's the biggest reward. It's like a giant family. Um, so actually, I gotta I gotta cut this video short because I just had to fiddle with my phone, get rid of stuff because I'm running out of memory. Um, so may your bananas always be ripe. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you want to see more of these videos. Like this video, one of those. Subscribe so you can see more of these videos so they come to you without searching for you. And check out like I said, I have all these playlists now. You can check them out. Woofing in Hawaii, Europe, um, other stuff. I don't even know anymore. Weight loss tips. Um, I got some inspiring videos, uh, maybe not so inspiring, it's a try. Anyway, so, may Ben has always be right, I already said that, and uh, live simply, so others may simply live. This is Jaybird signing out, see you tomorrow, peace.